I'm really excited about today's class. Why so? Because the topic that's been discussed in class gives so many answers to the questions that have been in my mind for so long. That's great. By the way, why have you been curious about aging so much lately? Do you remember our neighbor's mother, Mary? Yeah, that she died six months ago due to some health issues. Yeah, the question is my granny is almost touching 90, but has far more stamina for physical activities as compared to Mary. That's right, your granny is really healthy and fit, touch wood. Yeah, I want to know all the aspects and biological secrets of this long and healthy life because I don't want to depend on others at any stage of my life. Well, we'll talk about this later. It's almost time for biology class. I hope everyone is doing great. Good, Good sir. sir. Now tell me, what's a thymus? The thymus gland is a small organ that lies in the upper chest under the breastbone. It makes white blood cells called lymphocytes that protect the body against infections. That is correct. These are an important part of the body's immune system as they help us to fight infection. Can you explain it? As cells pass through the thymus, they are trained to become T cells, white blood cells of our infection. A person without a thymus does not produce these T cells and therefore it's a great risk for developing infections and it reduces as we grow older. Can we relate it to aging? Yes, it can be related because if the thymus is not working properly, the lymphocytes that are the defensive cells of the body don't perform their function properly. And the person with a poor functioning thymus is more susceptible to different infections, autoimmune diseases, or cancer. You guys made today's topic easy to explain. The last time Elsa asked me a question that was, can we treat aging with drugs? Scientists published last year that a triple treatment of chemicals named DHEA, growth hormone, and metformin, a very safe, well-tested, and inexpensive drug used worldwide to treat diabetes, to successfully help rebuild the thymus. The treatment was done, and the biological clock of the cells was determined. Wow, that's something very interesting. Does this biological clock have a name? Yes, it's called the epigenetic clock. Won't it be harmful to our health? I'll leave it to you and your guys search for this answer. I'll tell you whether your answer is right or wrong in our next class. Okay, okay Mr. Mr. Adams. Adams. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and get notified.